Justine again, and this is my last therapy tip Tuesday with y'all. And what better Tuesday than the one right before Halloween? Halloween is my favorite holiday, and today I'm discussing how you can use simple recipes to target speech and language at home. Let's have some Skella fun. I printed this recipe for pumpkin patch jerk cups for free off teacherspayteachers.com. Using recipes and cooking with your child offers so many opportunities to build language and speech, plus it's fun. I really like this recipe because it provides pictures with the directions. Simple recipes are great because engaging with food is one of the best ways to build communication with children. Plus, food playing cooking is also a good way to engage a picky eater. When cooking children are learning all the sensory properties of food, teach them words to describe their sensory experience like sticky, slimy, crunchy. Oh, and good news, you can also have your child help clean up. Cleaning is an easy way for them to help and they receive positive reinforcement for doing it. Now to our recipe. When you and your child are gathering all the materials to make your pumpkin patch dirt cups, you can target expressive language by having them identify the materials needed. Point to a picture and ask them, what is this? Receptive language can be targeted by asking them to give you an object. For example, give me milk. When you are making the dirt cups, you can target following one step directions, get the Oreos, two step directions, first get the Oreos, then put them in the bag, three step directions, get the Oreos, put them in the bag, and crush them, quantitative concepts, two cups of milk, eight to 10 Oreos, spatial concepts, in, on top, and if your child is working on articulation, you can incorporate the sound or sounds into the activity. Now to make the pumpkin patch dirt cups. So I have pre-made pudding, but you can always make it using the milk and the chocolate pudding mix, but this was just a little bit easier for me. So you're gonna put your pudding in the cup. And then you're going to crush up your Oreos. You're gonna crush them up. And then you're gonna put the crushed Oreos on top of the pudding. So the crushed Oreos go on top. Then you're going to add another layer of pudding. So this is our second layer of pudding. Then you're going to add a second layer of crushed Oreos. And this is the fun part. You're going to add the gummy worms and the pumpkins. So I have these really nice candy pumpkins that you can put on top to make it your pumpkin patch dirt cup. So I'm going to add two pumpkins. I'm going to use my pincer fingers, my pincer grass. So there's two pumpkins. And then I'm also going to add gummy worms. So there's one gummy worm and two gummy worms. So you can really describe how the gummy worms feel. They feel slimy. They feel squishy. So now that you made your pumpkin patch jerk cup, the fun part is you're going to eat it. Making these dirt cups also targets the gross motor skills such as mixing, but also those fine motor skills develop a pincer grasp when your child is picking up the candy. And at the end, while you're eating something you made together, you can go over the new vocabulary and ask your child the comprehension questions provided. Also, as a reminder, model throughout this activity as your child is soaking up everything. Show them something and then let them do it. Model words, model tasting and chewing, model mixing anything and everything you do. Your child is watching, wishing you all a happy Halloween.